All right, I've got three lifters that are not rotating on this engine. Um, let's go ahead and uh, check the preload and see if the cam has worn at all. All right. With the exhaust open, there we go. Exhaust opening up, we can check the preload here. It still has some preload on it. I put the preload on these lifters a little over half turn. Let's go ahead and do a quarter turn and then check. So I still got I still got preload here. We'll do another quarter turn. I still got some preload. Let's do an eighth. That must have went a little over. All right, I've got no preload. So that the cam hasn't worn on this cylinder here on this lobe which the lifter was not rotating let's check uh let's check this one and see if the cam cam lobe is worn all right exhaust valve just going down so the intake should be when the intake's coming back up we'll check uh we'll check this all right so we're gonna go ahead and do a quarter turn and see if it still's got preload. All right, we're still good. And a quarter turn, we're still good. An eighth of a turn. All right, we're loose here. That cam lobe hasn't worn yet either. This this engine only has twenty minutes of break in time on it, and. I uh, went a little cheap on the cam. I bought a used cam for this. And this is the first time I actually experiment with that. Just kind of on a budget. Wanted to save a couple of bucks. And it looks like it's going to cost me. Uh, the lifters were 25 bucks. They were new, but I got them on Facebook Marketplace. And it was a cam. It was a package deal. 50 bucks for cam and lifters. So let's check the preload on this last cylinder and see where we're at. All right, eighth turn, eighth turn. All right, still got preload. We'll go another. All right, still not there yet. All right, so these these lifters, these. Uh, we're all preloaded with a little over half turn, and we are still good with the same preload I put on these lifters. So the cam hasn't moved yet, so that's good. I won't have to tear it all down and clean out all the galleries and passages. So we're good here. All right, let's. We'll go ahead and pull the cam out, and uh, we'll see what the cam looks like. All right, let's get this cam pulled out of here. The cam is a comp cams 280H, and I was in a bit of a hurry to get this thing up and running. I wanted to put in my Mustang, and uh. All right. Set it over here, and we'll get a closer look at it and see if we can see anything that's uh, wrong with it. We'll do a little bit of measuring on it. All right, got the cam out. Take a look at the lifters here. And I'm pretty sure that this cam here was bad before I in uh, installed it in the engine. I think the taper is... Uh, just not there anymore. I broke this engine in for 20 minutes at uh, 2,000 to 2,500 RPMs, and it's a bad lobe. Uh, I had an oil temperature up to 200 and 210 degrees, and when I checked to see if the Lifters were rotating. 
Uh, they were not. So three of them were not. So made a mistake. Cost me a bunch of time, a bunch of money. And, uh, yeah, I'll not be using a used cam um, again with new lifters. I have gotten away with it before back in, um, I'd say, probably 20 years ago. A buddy had taken a fairly new cam out, and he marked all the uh, uh, lifters. They were matched with the lobes, and I put it in, and it worked well. It worked well, so... Uh, this did not work, and this is the first time I've tried to do this and trying to save some money. So, yeah, I won't do this again. As far as rotating, the cam, the cam lobes rotating, I tried to turn this crate engine over, which is a good crate engine. And I'd say half the lifters did not rotate over. So I would have to say there needs to be some oil. Uh, oil pressure temperature or maybe more speed to get the lifters to rotate um, this is one that is uh, um, getting together and going to be breaking the cam in shortly and not all these lifters rotate over either uh, maybe one or two of them um, and I believe it's probably from the molly on the bottom of the cam lobe uh, this 400 year all the um, lifters did rotate over when I slowly rotated the engine over. So I would say that it's uh, a good rule of thumb is a uh, hot engine. Uh, I did it while it was idling and had hot oil. And uh, you, you lifters should be spinning at that point. So, all right. Thanks for watching.